here we are again. Doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Air suspension system not working. Now, on the last video, I did show you, and this is how much space is supposed to be there. But I did show you in the last video how I troubleshoot this. No need to troubleshoot it this time because the system gave me plenty of warning that it was going. And what it was probably about 5,000 miles ago, the compressor started getting louder and louder and louder to the point where people would actually come in the car and be like, what is that? So the good news is that when I bought that part from Advanced Auto Part 41,000 miles ago, it came with a lifetime warranty. So I ordered the part and it's not gonna cost me anything. So it's gonna take me a little bit of labor and zero parts. And I'm gonna time this because I've already done it once. It should be pretty quick. I'm gonna time how long it actually takes me. Tools you will need for the job. A ratchet, probably an extension of some sort. Um, a seventh, seven thirty second socket, a nine thirty second socket, and those are for the wheel well covers. An eight millimeter, and that is for the battery connection. Ten millimeter for the to remove the headlight. Thirteen millimeter for the bolts. You will need a little screwdriver for just to remove one of the electric connect connections, and you will need a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, for the hose that's coming out of the back of the dryer vent. Setup button first, that's what we have to do. Oil life. Oh, da, da, da. And we are getting to air suspension. We're going to hit the reset button right there and switch that to off. And that's all we need to do in here except we need to crack the hood. Using that 8 millimeter socket to just remove one of the battery cables. Switching to a 10 millimeter for this bolt. And this bolt, that's the headlight assembly. They're out. Just pull up on this. And then you're going to grab the headlight with two hands and just pull it out. And again, once that's out, take the headlamp bulb, turn it, pull it out, press down on this. This one right here was actually a slight twist and then pull out as well. It's another, another bulb. Once you pull the headlight out, the compressor is right below there. We do have a 13 millimeter bolt right here. A 13 millimeter bolt down there on the side right there and then there's one underneath there's a little hose just pulls right off there's nothing else holding it on it attaches there and then we have another clamp right here and you have to lift this up with a screwdriver on one end and it has the same thing underneath so just put a screwdriver under there use your finger underneath to pull the other tab down and then pull this one out Sometimes I take things off to make things easier. Had a small screw here, seven thirty seconds, and then I had I was using nine thirty seconds to get off one here and one down here. And the reason why this is beside the wheel well, the other screw on the bottom is kind of tough to get to. So if you take those out. You can then move this around and pull it out of the way so you can reach that last bolt there in the back from underneath. But you can kind of see there's an orange circle there and there's a tube that's connecting to it. What you have to do is you have to slide some pliers behind there and push up on that orange holder there and that'll release that while you pull. To get it out it took me 25 minutes and as you can see here, the way this thing works is this orange thing, you want to push down on it. This operates kind of like a spring release, so you, you push down with pliers onto that orange thing and you press towards here. And when you're pressing that down, then you can release the white tube coming out of it. In my first video, I mentioned about these torque screws. This bracket comes with the part. You do not have to take those off. Um, the, the part has come with the bracket both times I've ordered it. It took me 15 minutes to put everything back together, partially because I already had all the tools out and uh, knew exactly what to do. So um, everything is all set. I'm going to start it up and just make sure it all works. So all that's left to do is to turn the air suspension system on, go back to setup,
scroll through until you find air suspension, then hit the reset button, turn it on. And the air suspension is no longer sitting low over my tires. This one, all in all, took me 40 minutes from start to finish. It is a do-it-yourself job. And because I bought the part at a Auto Zone or Advanced Auto Part, it did come with a lifetime warranty. So if you're looking at parts on eBay and stuff like that, you gotta kinda think twice. Um, you know, I was tempted to buy one cheaper. I saw one on eBay a while ago for $180. And instead of um, buying it, I ended up going with the, the known commodity because I knew I could just bring the part back if I had any problems. So um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And if, especially if you have a Lincoln Navigator or Ford Expedition because I'm going to be doing a lot more work on this in the near future. And uh, you want to make sure you get those videos. So. Hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully I saved you a little bit of money.